Chase Bank Kenya recently reopened after temporary closure. But what caused this? You see, for a bank to run efficiently, there must be people depositing money and withdrawing to have a liquidity balance. When rushed withdrawals happened, the balance was tipped and the bank had to close. Seven days after closure, however, the bank reopened under receivership. Receivership is a preservation process put in place to protect the assets, liabilities and business affairs of a bank. This protects the interests of its depositors, creditors and members of the public. In other words, it protects you and your money. The Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation, together with the Kenya Commercial Bank, are working to get Chase Bank back to full operations. The 63 Chase Bank branches are open during the bank's normal operating hours and have over 90% of services available. This means you can make deposits, make withdrawals for money that was deposited after 27th April 2016, transact online banking via Chase Mfukoni, make inbound and outbound RTGSs, checks and international telegraphic transfers, make money transfer services, forex services, credit cards, fixed deposits, and Chase is also lending money as per the new act by the CBK. So, how do we get things back to normal? Chase Bank Kenya, the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation, and Kenya Commercial Bank are all working together to get Chase Bank back to full operations. The next and most important person is you. Your loyalty to the bank is why we are up and running today. By you continuing to bank with us, we become a stronger and greater brand that serves you better. We remain keen to continuously update you on the progress towards getting out of receivership. We are working with our statutory managers to resume operations to full capacity. And we look forward to continue growing our relationship with you, helping you achieve your dreams and goals. Because what matters to you matters to us.